What pleases God? When Jesus went to be baptized by John in the Jordan River, after he had gone into the waters and come up, the heavens were opened and a voice declared over Christ Jesus, this is the son I love. In him I am well pleased. The aim, the purpose of all creation is to hear these words. In you I am well pleased. We exist for these words from God to be spoken over our souls. I love you and in you I am well. I am completely pleased, filled with pleasure. Every breath that we take is to work for this one thing that God is pleased. What pleases God? Hosea chapter 6 verse 6 it says Hosea 6 6 for I desired mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings the desire the longing that we as people may satisfy in God the longing of God the hunger of Almighty God that we may feed is for mercy mercy to one another Jesus repeats this in Matthew 9 Matthew chapter 9 verse 12 to verse 13 It says, but when Jesus heard, he said unto them, They that are whole do not need a physician, but they that are sick. But go, go and learn what it means. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Mercy on sinners. The calling of sinful people to receive mercy. That is what our God is hungry for. In Ezra chapter 10, Ezra called the sinful nation, the nation that had broken in its choices, in its um, everyday affairs and social structure and culture, broken away from the covenant of God he called sinners the congregation that was called together was not a congregation of righteous people it was the congregation of sinful covenant breaking people to come and find 
mercy, restoration to a place of blessing. Jesus said, I didn't come to call the righteous. I came, the, the, the whole, the healthy do not need a doctor. I came to call sinners. Go and learn what this means. What is it that God desires? What is he hungry for? What can we serve him? I want mercy. He repeats this, Jesus does, in Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12, verse 6 to verse 7 says, but I say unto you, that in this place is one greater than the temple. <clears throat> but if you had known what this means, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless. Jesus calls guilty people guiltless. They are guiltless because they are invited to feast on mercy. forgiveness, turning away from sinful patterns and lifestyles, the receiving of the blessing to be a force at work in our lives again. That is what God wants. That is what we can give he has no delight even in the temple. Jesus says, I say to you, one greater than the temple is here. God has no delight in gold, food, meat, sacrifice, even the giving of one's body to be burned or the giving away of our possessions, property, our money. He is only interested in these things if they are converting people to mercy. Isaiah chapter 65, a prophecy of Isaiah, the words of God through the prophet. I'm going to read um, Isaiah 65, verse 11 to verse 14. says but you are they who forsake you are they that forsake the Lord and forget my holy mountain you prepare a table for that troop you furnish drink offerings unto the number therefore will I number you to the sword and you shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called you did not answer when I spoke you didn't hear but you did evil before my eyes and you chose things in which I had no pleasure Therefore, 
oh, I was reading to, oh yes, to 14. 13 says, therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Why will people weep and howl and die in great numbers? God said through Isaiah, because when I called, you didn't come. You chose things. You used your free will and power of choice to love things and prefer things that I had no pleasure in. I couldn't take any pleasure in the things that you chose to do. But those who serve me, my servants, Will, they will eat and drink and they will sing for joy of heart, but you will howl. What pleases God? We have to decide to choose things that please God. He wants mercy. He wants that we are serving out an invitation to sinners to come and get mercy from God. The Lord takes no delight in cursing sinners, in us raining down curses on the wicked. He takes no pleasure in our sacrifices with a heart that's hard and will not forgive others, will not forgive sinful people, will not bring them together to receive the mercy that is in Jesus' name. God takes no delight in anything that we do to adorn a, a temple with gold, or create a big party where we've given everything and sacrificed everything. He has no pleasure in any of that without the fundamental of sacrifice to show mercy to the sinful people by calling them to God, calling them to come and get forgiveness, showing them the way of grace by being gracious to those who don't deserve it. He said, I came not to call the righteous. A physician is useful to the sick. I desire mercy and not sacrifice greater than the temple is here the one who calls sinners to receive forgiveness to drink freely of waters of mercy to live and flourish by turning from their wickedness the one who calls sinners is here is greater than any temple calling sinners is greater than any temple our mercy. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 1 to 3 God is speaking and saying thus says the Lord the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool where is the house that you build unto me and where is the place 
of my rest. For all these things have my hand made, and all those things have been, says the Lord. But to this one will I look. Even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, that trembles at my word. He who kills an ox is as if he slew a man. He who sacrifices a lamb is as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offers an oblation, a drink offering, as if he offered pig's blood. He who burns incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways and their soul delights in their abominations. It's in our choices to please God and to bring others to that choice is to sanctify them and this pleases God more than our buildings and our sanctuaries filled with the, the, the valued things of this world, seats and instruments and technology and comfort, comfortable carpeting, comfortable chairs. Where is the house that you built for me? God says, I made the heavens and the earth. Heaven is my throne. But I'm looking for something. What is it that our God is looking for with hunger? A broken and a contrite spirit that trembles at his word. The fear of God. The fear of God it's not to merely quake at his throne. But Proverbs chapter 16 verse 6 reveals to us. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 6 says, By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Covenant is to depart from the common in order to be to be joined, to be sealed to the purpose of God. By the fear of God, God says, I'm looking for those who will seal themselves to my purpose. And the purpose of God is that he is pleased. What drives you? What motivates your choices and decisions from day to day? God is hungry for those who are always choosing things, motivated to do things that bring him pleasure. people who delight to
to show mercy and to teach sinners to act in mercy. Amen.